Hello and welcome to the Basic Computer Skills Guide. This guide is going to give you a basic tutorial of some of the technologies you'll be using at Hodges University. Um, and especially if you're feeling a little bit concerned that uh, you're not quite up to speed on certain aspects of using a computer. So on the very first page is computer ba Basic Computer Skills. Uh, you can see using Windows and Mac computers, so using Mac OS X, Windows 7, Windows 10, and then there's a combined tutorial. Um, so these are digital learn tutorials, so I'm going to jump into Windows 7 to give you an idea of what they look like. So you can click Start Course. I've got to make sure Adobe is activated and up to date. And actually there's some narration here that the capture didn't pick up. And certain parts of that are also going to be interactive. The same sort of tutorials you'll see. Uh, so you'll see the, um, the same sort of tutorials here at Digital Learn Tutorials. There's also a whole course of tutorials on basic computer skills, and this video will guide you through the course down here. Here's a quick mouse tutorial, um, which may seem simple enough, but there's actually all kinds of other functions for the mouse that you might want to learn. And of course, this is all interactive. So it tells you to use a spacebar to begin. Okay, continue. So then you click, try it again. So again, pretty fun basic stuff, but it'll also continue on to show you more advanced options. And of course, learning typing skills is pretty important. Um, if you are really interested in learning how to type properly and really speed up your typing skills, this is a nice interactive tutorial that I found. Microsoft Office, you'll be using this in your courses. So here's uh, two specific tutorials, creating a document in Word, creating a resume in Word. These are the tutorials from Microsoft itself. They're very good. The Virtual Lab is the instance of Microsoft Office that you can run on your computer without downloading it. So you can access it in MyHugo. Um, be sure to save your work to a flash drive. Um, Office 365 is the version that you can download to your own computer. You just have to activate it using your Hodges email. The Blackboard instructions I've tried to simplify, so if you're in a course in Blackboard, um, the people you should be contacting are the student help desk. Uh, this is their contact information. Here's some frequently asked questions, and here's the button to submit a ticket, uh, which you'll have to log in to MyHugo to do. So you choose student, you would submit a ticket, and give them all the information that they need to contact you. This is also a playlist of videos on how to use Blackboard. If you need to log into the databases for the library, this is what's going to pop up. On campus, you shouldn't get a login screen. If you have any trouble on campus, just ask a librarian. Off campus, you'll just get the same login screen you'll see with other applications at the university. Um, and here's some troubleshooting. But if you're still having issues after, say, 10 or 15 minutes, feel free to contact us. You can contact me directly uh, or you can use Ask a Librarian. And then finally the tutoring request. Uh, the in-person tutoring request can be done. This is in my Hugo. You can actually just talk to a librarian in case it might be something we can help you with. And then Smart Thinking is the tutorial that's inside Blackboard. So it'll be under resources or under need help uh, depending on the template that your course is in. Eventually, all the courses, it'll be under need help. Um, some of these things here are will, will explain why smart thinking might not be working. So again, this is more troubleshooting. Usually, if it doesn't work, uh, there will be something, some error message on the screen that will tell you, uh, make sure you've enabled cookies for smart thinking. And then we have a guide here on you know, how to do that. So that's pretty much it. If there are any more questions, you can feel free to contact me. Um, Ask Librarian is always available on the front page of the library. 
and I look forward to hearing from you.